Hey, six times a year, we invite all the parents of the kids that are with us to come be a part of a special weekend called the Parent Weekend. We have a lot of fun. We get to spend time with them. They spend time with us. They learn about our staff. They learn about the process that we go through of helping kids get to a better place in their thinking. We have a lot of fun. We shoot shotguns. Ah! Ooh, that was close, puppet. We play games. There's snow cone trucks that pull up. Hello. Family happy to be together? Oh, yeah. Very happy to see her. Yes. Smiling. I know, right? One of the most important times of the whole weekend is graduation. It's when these kids finish up their time going through the Heart Life program. It's an emotional time. It's a time that after spending 12 months pouring into the lives of these kids and dealing with all their issues and difficulties, it's time to say goodbye and to send them home to be with mom and dad. So it's emotional for all of us. It's a hard time, but it's a great time. It's full of hope. stuff in trash bags and I put dirty clothes in a trash bag and then I'm just throwing the rest of them unfolded in the, the clean ones just in the bag. speak with my notes or else this would not go well. Andrew, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Well done. Good job. We were in a pretty bad spot relationally, you and I. We weren't able to communicate about important or consequential things without it leading to a fight. Since you've been to Heartlight, we have learned how to work through our issues and how to have those conversations now that are meaningful, consequential, and we're able to do it without the fighting. I want you to know that I love you no matter what, and always will. Congratulations on your accomplishment. You made it. We're happy for you, and we're happy that you're coming home with us. I love you, son. I am so proud of you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to say anything. <laughs> when I think back to 10 months ago and the, the strife, that was in our relationship and the, the struggles to communicate, the struggles to understand where you were coming from. And I think over the last 10 months, the ways that you have grown, the ways that we have grown, and the ways that God has opened our eyes to see that this wasn't just about you, it was about us too. And I love you so much and I'm so proud of you. Heartlight has taught me how to form relationships on a deeper level. Relationships with 
many friends that I have here that have just gone so much deeper than I ever could have imagined. It gave me a second chance with my dad, and I'm so thankful for that. Without this place, I'd, I have no idea where I would be, and I'm so thankful for that. I, I'm, I'm just so thankful, and I'm ready to graduate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of been a car guy my entire life. The day we got here, she wasn't exactly firing in all the heat. They pulled her in, they popped the hood, and they started diagnostics. They balanced the crank. <laughs> put in a new super damper. <laughs> and put her all back together again. So basically, Jacqueline now has the talent, the knowledge, the skill to ride the road of life. I couldn't be more proud of you. From the cabin staff, to Shelby, the pit boss, Mark, <laughs> who fortunately will not give up on any teens because they can be repaired. And I do love you ever so much. I think I'll be forever grateful. <clears throat> To Heartlight, I couldn't be more proud. This was hard. Someone once said that the hard things in life are the best and most valuable. And I'm just really proud of you. Let me start off by saying, I honestly never thought I would be able to make it to the point where I would be sitting up on the stage. And thank you to my mom and dad for not giving up on me, even when it was hard. I am so thankful that you sent me here. And I know my life would be so different if you hadn't. I love you both so much, and I'm very excited to come home. Okay, I'll buy you the Mustang. <laughs> we are more proud of you today than anything you could have ever done your senior year. But you couldn't have been valedictorian. You couldn't have done anything that would make us more proud of than what you did the last 13 months. We know that when you get out, it, you're not going to be perfect. Uh, we didn't bring you here. To become perfect. Dad and I aren't perfect. We never got to go to Heartlight. But I can tell you we learned a lot of things during this time that we will handle things different. Communication will be different at our house. You may have to remind us sometimes. We may have to remind you. Our family will always be grateful to Heartlight for what they've done to give us our daughter back. So we're ready to pack you up and take you home where you belong. I love you. And so just like when we brought her down here, uh, we had to trick her <laughs> to get her here. But on our old trip down here, uh, we had some struggles. Oh, <laughs> and Lindsay and I was in the back seat of my pickup, and, and I, was, I was about where I was ready to turn around and come back home. And my daughter reached over and hugged me. <laughs> Said, Daddy, it's all right. <laughs> It's okay, man. It's okay. It's all right. And now we're ready for that next chapter. And you're going to blossom. You're going to grow. And so, baby, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of everything you've done. And, baby, I just love you. And I know that you are going to be awesome. Since May 16th of 2019, I've been trying to figure out what to say on this day. It has been a long 13 months, but it has taught me so many lessons. I have learned social skills, self-confidence, and most importantly, I have grown a stronger and deeper relationship with the Lord. Thank you, Heartlight, for being the shoulder that I needed to lean on. This will forever be my safe place. Since the day we dropped you off at Heartlight, we have longed for this day, the day that we would drive north and you would be coming home, the day that we wouldn't be leaving part of our hearts here in Texas. Every day, being your mom is one of my greatest joys. Every day, I love you just because of who you are. Every day, I'm proud to be your mom. And today, I'm indescribably proud of you per for persevering all the way to graduation here at Heartlight. Your story has been a pretty fantastic one, and I'm really excited to see what God has for you in years to come. Caleb, as you know, this journey wasn't really all about you, that uh, I was pretty broken too. But here today, this is the day we've been hoping for. You've become a man. 
you've become a good influencer as a big brother. You've learned how to handle conflict in a way that's reasonable and has grace in it. You've forgiven me for a lot. And I think probably the biggest thing is you just opened your heart to me and mom and you've given us your trust. And that's a privilege that I'll never take for granted. I'm gonna make this rather short. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank my parents, first of all, for not, not giving up on me when I was diving into this stupid pool. <laughs> my brother for not giving up and always being there, always listening to me when I would go on phone calls and just complain the whole time. I, I was probably pretty stressful to have as a son for a while there, and I'm thankful for them not giving up on me. I love you all. You know, we were in a tailspin, uh, academically, you know, emotionally, behavior, it was really bad. Um, I am so proud of you. And look where you are now. You didn't think you were going to go to college. No, no one's going to accept me. I got from Heartlight. You thought that was going to be a stigma. Because what, you got what, three academic scholarships now, and you're ready to go, and ready to hit the world? I think you're going to do really well. Love you. You have everything you needed to become what you want to be. It was already inside of you, and I am so thankful to Heartlight, and we so look forward to seeing you fly and to just being the authentic you that you knew you were when you were little and that for a while you forgot. For those of y'all who know me, y'all know I'm not always the best at finishing things that I start, so finishing this program was a pretty big deal for me. I'm leaving with a lot of tools and a lot of relationships that I hope I have for the rest of my life. I know I'll have for the rest of my life. Um, I'm just super thankful that I had parents who loved me enough to send me here, but also who were faithful enough to stay through the program when it got hard because it got a, little, got a little hard sometimes. But uh, I'm ready to go home and I think a lot of us are too, so that's all I got. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>